Marty, you talk about women being the most valuable customers for almost every company. Can you elaborate on that? Well, I, I call them the MVCs, the most valuable customers, for three reasons, actually. Um, first of all, they are the household chief purchasing officer. And um, by that, I mean that women spend about 80% of all consumer dollars. Now, when I say that they're MVCs for almost all companies, I'm not just talking about cons you know, B2C, business to consumer companies. I'm also talking about B2B, because what a lot of people don't recognize is that women are also the primary buyers for the corporate market and the small business market. So the corporate market specifically, we know that um, women are 58% of all um, purchasing managers and agents. Agents. We also know that they're 53% of all wholesale and retail buyers. So just in the buying function, that is dominated by women. But what we what people don't realize all the time, and I wish the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics would publish these numbers, but intuitively I think we would agree, the other big purchasing roles in a company are um, the admin function, so the office administration. Who is making the decisions on the office equipment that we're going to use, the contracts for uh, FedEx or UPS or U.S. Postal Service, um, so the contracts and the products and the services that we use. And then the other dimension that I wish we had numbers for was is the HR function, um, which is uh, which decides who are we going to go to for our company's financial plans, the 401ks, and etc. What they can use there and for their health insurance plans. So those are enormous purchasing functions handled in the admin and the HR groups respectively. And I suspect that the HR and the admin groups are usually headed by women because those tend to be occupations that women go into disproportionately relative to men. So first of all, chief purchasing officer for just, they buy just about everything. Um, oh, I forgot small business. And small business, women have been starting two out of three uh, small businesses for the last 20 years. And that's when you make a lot of your decisions about, you know, who are you going to ship with, who are you going to get your contracts with, etc. So chief purchasing officer. And the second reason, aside from they buy most of everything, which would ought to be enough, but in addition to that, um, they are also more profitable customers. So it's not just sales, but also profitability that women drive because they are more loyal. I explained in another one of my little video segments uh, the spiral path. And so women's purchasing process is much more comprehensive than men's is. But the end result is that while it takes longer to convert a, a sale to a woman, on the other hand, the good news is that she's much more likely to stay loyal because she has evaluated who she's buying from as part of that purchase decision. And while men evaluate that too, they don't tend to put as much weight on it as women do. So women, unless you do something later to mess it up, she will prefer to come back to the place she bought from before. And, and, and more loyal customers are more profitable because you don't have to spend as much marketing to get their business over and over again. And then the final is the word of mouth. You convert a man client or customer, you get one sale. But when you convert a woman client or customer, you get not only the sale to her, but assuming you've done a great job and she's delighted with you know what she bought and how the process went, she will be telling more of her friends about it than a male customer will because of the way women's word of mouth spreads more rapidly than men's word of mouth does.